Welcome to Willow Grove Morning Announcements with Mrs. Smith. Good morning, Willow Grove Bears. Please stand and face our beautiful flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing and join us in our Willow Grove Bears That Care Pledge. Willow Grove Bears That Care show kindness, responsibility, and respect. We are good friends. Well, hello, Willow Grove kids. I am so happy to see you. I have missed you so much. I can't believe how long it's been since I've seen you. And I'm really excited to get to talk to you every single morning while we are apart. I have something to show you. Every day when we meet, I have a special present box that we're gonna take a look at and see what's inside. Take a look around it, see if you think it looks pretty fun to you. There might be some sides that you like. There's a unicorn. This owl reminds me of Miss Chappas' class. Hi owls, I hope you're doing well. <gasps> Who's under there? Spider-Man. I know a lot of friends who like Spider-Man. And then we've got Tinkerbell. She's one of my favorites, so I made sure to put her on. And of course, again, we're back to the unicorn. So every day when I see you, I'm going to open and see what's inside this box and it will have something for us to do together. Let's see what's in today. Oh, this is fun. are two of my kids' favorite toys. This is a story that we used to read when they were really little. And I have it for you today. It's a story called Bing. Bing Go Picnic. And it's by the author, Ted Dewan. So I'm going to read you the story of Bing Go Picnic by Ted Dewan. This is Bing and this is Flop. Hello Bing, hello Flop. That's their names. This Bing toy, when you press it, you might be able to hear something. Let's see if you can hear it. It's stuck. What's your name? I don't know if you heard that or not, but we'll see. Let's go ahead and read the story together. Bing go picnic. Round the corner, not far away, Bing begins another day. Hello, Bing. Hello, Flop. Let's go picnic. Where shall we go? How about a picnic in the woods? No, too many wolves. How about the park? Yep, let's go. Wait a minute. We forgot a picnic blanket in the basket. Now we have a blanket, so let's go. Wait a minute. We forgot sandwiches. Ham, jam, carrot in the basket. Yum, yum, yum. I wonder who eats the carrot sandwich. Who do you think likes carrots? Now we have a blanket and sandwiches, so let's go. Wait a minute. We forgot drinks. Strawberry milk, carrot juice in the basket. Yum, yum, yum. Who do you think has the strawberry milk and who do you think has the carrot juice? Now we have a blanket, sandwiches, and drinks, so let's go. Wait a minute. Oh, we forgot biscuits. Round, square, carrot in the basket. Yum, yum, yum. Now we have a blanket, sandwiches, drinks, and biscuits. Oh, so let's go. Wait a minute. We forgot wipes. Ice pack, potty, sun hat, pants, bag, mobile phone, in the basket. Yum, yum, yum. You probably haven't heard of a mobile phone. That's the same as a cell phone, we call it. Now we're all ready. Let's go picnic. 
What do you think is happening on the green page? Bing looks surprised. It says, ploip! Oh no! <gasps> what do you think's happening? It's raining! Never mind, Bing, it's no big thing. We can have our picnic under the table! Go picnic. It's a Bing thing. So in our Bing story, they had big plans to do what? They were going on a picnic. And in the story, let's see if I can find, there's a picture of them with their picnic basket getting ready to fill it up. They forgot lots of things and they remembered them as they went. They spent lots of time getting ready for that. And then their plans had to change. That kind of reminds me of what's going on with us right now, right? Usually we'd be in school with you and our plans had to change. That makes us sad. We all miss you. But it also means that we are going to do something different that we can also make fun. So that's what I'm hoping that you'll do with the time you have at home is find ways that you can make it fun and your teachers are going to be sending you great ideas to do every day. And I'll include some ideas on our little morning announcement video as well. One thing that I thought maybe you could do today is to have a pretend picnic. You maybe even can have a real picnic somewhere your parents allow you to have that. You can have a pretend picnic anywhere in your house or under the table, just like Bing and Flop had to have their picnic under the table. You can find different things around your house that your parents say are okay, and you can find your toys. Maybe you have play food or anything like that, and you can spread out that picnic bl blanket, and you can have yourself a little picnic. So that's your challenge today. If you go ahead and do that, will you please have your parent share a picture with me? In the email I'm sending, I will make sure your parents know where they can send that to but I would love to see a picture of you having a picnic. Thank you so much, boys and girls. I will see you tomorrow.